Hey everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. We're in a new location. We're in my dining room. I'm facing the uh, windows looking outside. I also have my huge ring light back out that I had, uh, you know, when I, my, pre my previous setup for filming at the old house. <laughs> so it's been boxed away for like almost two years, I guess. Yeah, because we've been here a year now. And then it was in storage for about seven months or something like that. So yeah, so I pulled out the big ring light, make, make sure it works, still works. I'm sitting here in my dining room. I don't have as much light in the dining room because the dining room was the formal living room. And I, the dining room for this house for me was too small because I have these, I have two big china cabinets. You can't see, there's another one. There's there, here, and then I have uh, the bar set up over here. It, it, I just didn't have enough room in what they consider to be my dining room because my table will seat 12. It's not set up for 12 right now. It's set up for six. I've got it set for six, but it can seat 12. I, I have a very big family. So and one day we may have, well, we could easily have that many people and still not have enough room. Anyway, I digress. Today, I didn't do a chatty get ready with me this week because I really wasn't feeling it. So I decided to do a chatty, let's do some crafting kind of week. Um, we just talk about what's going on. I'm gonna work on some things. Um, yeah, I'll probably be some editing in this video, getting up to go get things because I realized I didn't bring some stuff in here. But you know, that's okay. We're just gonna chit chat and just go along. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give some of my plushies some blush. I think they need a little, um, just a little blush. So I picked out my Too Faced, this is old, Too Faced Sweethearts blush in something about berry. I just, I think a pink blush would look cute. I'm gonna start with my little bird here. I have never done this, so I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna take a lot of the color off and start coloring the cheeks here. Oh, I'm gonna go very lightly, so. So yeah, guys, I'm putting a little blush on the cheeks. Um, I've had a very busy week doing stuff around the house, nothing to do beauty related. Um, I am, I'm a beauty girl, but I am probably gonna, this, this channel's gonna be what I love. So, I mean, there'll be a little bit of beauty in it, but there'll be crochet in it now because I'm, I'm really enjoying my crocheting and uh, I'm wanting to step that up to where I can start selling and also, um, I would like to eventually design my own patterns. I think that looks cute. I think I need a little more blush though. Let's build it up a little more. This will wear off in time, but I don't know if my plushies are gonna be more toys or more like collectibles. I'm gonna make some that are more toys, but I really like detailed things, even in my drawing. I like detail. Let's start with talking about that, my drawing. I can't find my art supplies. I found my sewing. That's why we're doing this today. Need some blush. His head's a little wobbly. Big head. Um, I found my sewing supplies, but I haven't found my art supplies. None of my art pencils, my expensive Prismacolor drawing pencils, I bought a brand new set, a $300 set of every color they make. I mean, this massive thing. And I don't know, all of my drawing pencils, my colored pencils, my arts, my main art supplies were all packed up in one box. They were one of the first things I packed. 
and we can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. Brian was up in Asheville and he went to our storage where we still have stuff. The storage we had is all empty. All that stuff's gone. We still have stuff stored at his parents' storage. And that's where we first started taking things. So it makes sense it should be at his parents' storage building. But he can't find it. And that is really, really upsetting me. I can't replace a lot of those things right now. I mean, that's... I'm 60. Let's say I started doing that in when, well, high school, basically. Let's say 15. 45 years of supplies kind of built up. I mean, I, they're not that old, but you know, I started buying the, the good stuff and look. I'm looking through the viewfinder to see if I think we have enough blush. I'm having a hot flash, people. It's hot in here today anyway. But back to my art supplies. I'm just, I'm sick over it. Brian's been going up in the attic and rearranging and moving things around, thinking maybe he overlooked the box. I don't know. I'm afraid, I'm so afraid that box ended up at Goodwill. I'm so afraid somebody got a damn good deal on $300 worth of color pencils. I hope not. I hope not. You know, remember those Gucci glasses I had? I never found those Gucci glasses. When I packed to move, I never found them. What happened to those? Did they end up in the trash? I don't know. Something is taking away some of my things. There we go. I think that looks good for blush. Let's do the little hamster. I love this little hamster. Let's get some blush on you. So, yeah, that kind of makes me sick. Makes me very sick at my stomach. Oh, okay. Now, this house is hot today because I just made banana bread. And it he, when I use the oven, the house heats up. And it's 88 degrees here today. 88 degrees on March, what is this, May 2nd? May 2nd, I think, I'm doing this. It's 88 degrees outside and I was baking banana bread for an hour in my oven and the house heat, heated up. So I had the air on, but I turned it down a couple notches. I'm still, I'm hot, I'm having a hot flash. How oh, cute. Uh, she, I need to take her eyelashes out. Let me give her some blush. And then while I've got her here, I need some more uh, flesh color. I need all the flesh colors, you know, all the shades of skin I need. Um, I am, I'm out. I can't make any more like doll type, people type. I'm a groomy until I get some more yarn. I just got a big order in and I don't know why I didn't think of that. I've got, um, I'm working, fixing my area up for my little, my little office area. And I got my yarn out of boxes and up in shelves and that's where I can see what I need. And I wish I'd have done that sooner so I would have known I needed more flesh color. Cause I don't want to put in an order just for that. I'm going to, when I go grocery shopping Saturday over in Columbia, I'll go into Joann's maybe. And see what they got. Buy some more yarn. I know Brian's like, what the heck? At least yarn costs a few dollars and eyeshadow palettes cost like 50 or more. That's a little cheaper. I think it's a little better. I'm going to go ahead and while we're sitting here talking and take her eyelash, or yeah, her eyelashes out. Let's remove these. Oh, I don't think that'll stay though. I'm cutting the thread. I'm talking to myself. I'm sorry if you can hear my laundry. The door's open. Nathan's been going in and out working on my some patio furniture 
for me. Um, painting. I'm paint. He's painting, and um, um, putting protectant stuff on it. It's wrought iron. He's doing that for me on the back deck. So I have the door, the laundry room door open because he's going back and forth. Okay. All right, there we go, Missy. She now has no eyelashes. It's kind of cute. I'll do them better. I'm gonna sit here and do them right now. Let me find a needle. That's what we're here for. We're here to chat. Um, Saturday, not Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. We, oh, that's a small head on that needle. Here we go. Sunday, we are going to Rock Hill. South Carolina, which is only an hour away. It's a suburb of, it's a suburb of Charlotte. Let me, I have no black embroidery thread right here. I think I have some though. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, running around, grabbing stuff. This, I have this from my days of making, um, cross stitch. I went through, I went, I go through all these phases. It's like crochet here is a phase. I go through all these phases and, but anyway, I have a, throw it around. I have a bag of more. These, this has not been put on cards. So, grab a black out. Yeah, black. Oh yeah. Have you seen those things they advertise on, um, you know, social media, those big, they're like a big cabinet, but you open it up and then it opens up more and you've got all these shelves and drawers and oh, that speaks to me like you would not believe. I don't know where I would put it, but Lord, that speaks to me. That's saying, oh, you know, you know you want that. You know you do. You know you need that. I think I'm going to use all six strands. Let's see if I can get it through this needle. So, anyway. I've not bought that. Because, one, it's expensive. It was cheaper. Probably would have bought it by now. But, um, it speaks to me. I'd love to have that to, to put all of my craft items in but you know there we go so let me quote I'm gonna embroider some eyelashes on here while we're talking um yeah come here uh -huh. and Charlie you guys have not seen Charlie if you've been with me for a long time you saw Charlie years ago she yeah mm -hmm. I know uh-huh. She has not been seen. Um, yeah, she just kind of does her own thing. But since Tiger has passed away, she is all up in my business. Aren't you, Charlie? Yeah. Yeah. And I got the dog is under the table. Charlie's on the table checking things out. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, no, no. Don't shake the camera, baby. Okay? Yeah, you are. No. 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 Charlie, stop. <laughs> Charlie, I'm not going to tell you again. <laughs> I know. It's so difficult. What did I... What did I just say? No. You know. Charles. 
Why don't you go find something to do? Hmm? Bye. There she goes. <laughs> Since Tiger passed away, she has just been all... She's more Brian and Nathan's cat and not mine. Um, I guess Tiger was my cat. And I guess she knew that. And so she really didn't spend a lot of time with me. But now she spends a lot of, a lot of time with me. Don't even. I can't get this threaded since I unthreaded it. Let's be nosy. The neighbor's home. My neighbor's a cop. He's in the, what is that, a Camaro? It's a Camaro or a Charger. It's all black and black tinted windows. At first I thought, man, he likes that car of his. But then he was out one day working on it and all the police lights come on. And I'm like, oh, he's a cop. So he's a cop driving one of those unmarked souped up cars do you know I've been living here a year and I have not met a single neighbor I don't know any of my neighbors and the south is supposed to be a very friendly place I have let me say I have waved at some neighbors but to actually go speak to them I have not there's there he is he's a big guy too he is like a, he's bigger than Brian. He's big, big dude. I don't know how much of that is muscle and how much is, you know, he likes what he eats. He's a big guy. He's checking out his car. I don't know. There, that's better. I like that better. Let's see. What I got here. I need to probably. I don't know. I just never see my neighbors out. I think one of the main things is um, people don't really hang out outside. It's hot. I just got quiet, so I will edit the quiet this out what do we think of that I kind of like that as a yeah let's do it on the other side let's do it on the other side yes you've calmed down how many stitches am I over two yeah I know yeah, you're talking again. Don't. No. Uh-uh. Leave, leave the camera alone. Leave the camera alone. She's mad. Alright. So, yeah. That. There's not much going on here. Like I said, we're, we're going to Rock Hill. Yeah, I probably didn't tell you. We're going to Rock Hill on Sunday. A um, friend of ours is going to be performing at a place called The Grapevine, which is, um, they have wine tasting, but they also have some IPAs on draft. Um, it's at an area called Riverwalk in Rock Hill. Rock Hill is just across Charlotte, North Carolina is right on the border of North and South Carolina. And it, Rock Hill is just over the border. Uh, it's in South Carolina, but it is a suburb of Charlotte. And so, for us, it's an hour drive. It's not bad. Uh, and so, we're going to go see Matt. And then, I contacted my niece, Anna. Uh, she is a teacher. She's a music teacher in Rock Hill. She lives in Rock Hill. Uh, 
And uh, so she's going to meet us Sunday and hang out with us. And it's going to be fun. I haven't seen Anna. My goodness. When was the last time I saw her? It's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen Anna. Yeah. I didn't see her this past Christmas or the Christmas before. It's been a couple. She did not go to Emily's wedding. My goodness. I guess. Dang, when did I see Anna last? It's been a couple years. My, yeah, it's been a while. So I'm looking forward to spending the afternoon with Anna. Yeah. Charles, quit. Go, go, go. People don't want to see you mess up my camera. No. I promise they, they don't. I think I'm going to leave that there. I think I'm just going to stop there. And poke these ends in. Come on. All right. I think that's kind of, no. Gosh. I think that's kind of cute. It gives it a little bit of a sad look though, doesn't it? You think so? Do you hear her? My goodness. Should she get a nose? I don't know about that. I'm going to probably I want to embroider come up with some ideas to um make her a little extra but right now i'm gonna lay her aside i'm gonna move to my my duck my duck uh i mean my goose my goose does not get blush he's he's not gonna get blush i'm gonna give him some uh, buttons for his overalls. Here, let me take his hat. I'm gonna tack his hat down and give him some buttons. Buttons. I got these buttons. I don't know if these are too big. Let's see. Gracious. Um, there's nothing else really going on that I can think of. Like I said, I might take the camera with me Sunday. Oh yeah, these these little buttons. Let's grab a couple of these. Or do I like this bigger one better? I think I'm gonna go with a smaller button. I think I picked these buttons up at Hobby Lobby. When I was in Hobby Lobby. And I might just use this black embroidery floss to sew them on. So I don't waste anything. Uh, yep. Let's see, do I need? I think I'm gonna need some in the back too. So I'm gonna do front and back. And let's get these going if I can. These are mainly for decoration. Um. My little great niece, Emily's little girl, is two months old now. I still haven't seen her except for in photos. I probably won't for a while. Uh, I, dog's now hitting the table. I, um, I need to make more plans to just take little day trips. I think I want to do that. It's just that. With Brian's work, it's hard to, because on usually on set, I I hate driving in the city, so I don't I don't drive in Columbia, and that's where the grocery stores are. And so I hate driving in the city. So Saturdays is when we go grocery shopping, and then Sunday he wants to just rest. 
from driving to Columbia six days a week. And I understand that. But I really want to get out and go. I want to go somewhere. I mean, I guess I could drive myself to the beach. He wouldn't like it very well if I did that. He still worries about me, you know, because of what I went through. Was I have... I tend to have... Um, pass out easily and that worries him especially if I'm okay sorry guys my battery died but as I was saying I tend to uh, I pass out easily I have passed out once since we've moved here um, but he you know he worries so I don't think he would like it too much if I got in the car and drove all the way down to the beach Two hours, but I don't think he'd be happy with me about that. I've, if you are new here, you've just started watching, because I have a lot of new subscribers since I started doing my crochet. Um, I'm recovering breast cancer, recovering from breast cancer, and I had a, a lot of complications. And it, let's just, my health has just gone downhill after all the years of, all the issues I had. The surgery was nothing, you know, all the other stuff. I'm not going to go into it right now. But let's just say that I, I don't, I'm not in the best of health. And I'm sorry, the wash machine is taking off. That's what we call it. When it goes into its final spin, we say the jet's taking off. That's what it sounds like. No, oh, those are cute. Let's get two more buttons and put them in the back. Don't want the bigger ones to hide my knots. I'm sprinkling buttons everywhere here. There's three sizes in this. Yeah, this is an even bigger one. I'm having a hot flash. Yeah, I want this one. Yep. Okay. So anyway, needless to say, I would love to make, make more day trips, but I don't think Brian wants me to drive that far. You know, around town's one thing. But yeah. That way if I'm not feeling well, I can just get on home. If I'm two hours away, I can't get on home. You know. Cause usually I, I feel it coming on. I'm pretty good about that. I can feel it coming on. I tell you, I have scared Brian in the past. <laughs> Passing out from places. I know. But I have found out that not only do I do that, my sister Melissa does it. Her daughter Emily and her daughter Natalie. Natalie passed out recently. We just, I don't know. We pass out easy. I know there's a there's some name for it but mine did not start with the cancer mine started when I was much younger I can't tell you how many nights when I was younger I got up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and ended up having to lay in the bathroom floor for a little while to keep from passing out that happened to me a lot So, yeah, I'm just sort of having a thread here. Just do one more button. Just one more button. There we go. So, anyway. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. Enough about my health. I am feeling a lot better since I am now officially off chemo. And all that is out of my system. So, yay for that. So now maybe I can start getting back to normal. Maybe the, the years of all the crap I've been going through is over. I hope so. And now I'm 
ready to get healthy and well again. All right. Big buttons in the back, little buttons in the front. Oh, your little pouch needs a button. Okay, the washing machine's slowing down. Don't want that color. Yeah, I'm gonna use a dark color on my little pouch here. I'll show you in a minute what I'm doing. I'm just sewing, sewing a little button on. I'm gonna sew this on a little, a little better in case it is used. Those buttons on the overalls are for decoration only. All right. Um, there we go. Laundry, the wash is done. The dryer's going. The dryer doesn't make any noise. <laughs> Thank goodness. I've been planting. I planted my uh, green stock. I didn't plant it full. I got, there's my little button. Let me. There we go. It's a little pouch. This guy's little button. I'm gonna put it it's over his head. Bring it to the side. There we go. And I'm gonna, while I've got, I'm gonna tack his hat on. Just cause it keeps popping off and I want it just to, so we don't lose it. So we don't lose your hat. Put him in my lap. I'm just gonna tack it here in the middle. There we go. Now his hat is on. Yep. I think he's done. I don't think he needs blush. There we go. So my goose is done. He will be listed. He needs a name. I come up with a name of Wilbur. 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 Wilbur will be listed. Um, okay, guys. Let me show you a couple of the things I've done. Um, it's gonna take a long time, and so I'm basically done with the goose. Um, with this girl. I just sewed on a button, a decorative button. Let me tell you, that is the hardest thing to do, so I'm gonna go and reinforce that with some glue. Make sure that sticks. I tried my hand at embroidery. I haven't embroidered in a very long time. I never really was to do much embroidery. I did cross stitch, but I didn't really do embroidery. I need to practice, but I was trying to do a lazy daisy. I think it turned out kind of cute. So I'm all right with this. I mean, it's kind of primitive looking. But yeah, there we go. I'm okay with that. I'm thinking I might give this to my niece. Anna, when I see her Sunday, I'm thinking I might just take her this little bird. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Um, I didn't do anything with this. I want to do some really cool embroidery or something on his tummy. I don't want to mess it up. I found by doing this, it's much harder to embroider on a piece like this rather than a piece of cloth. You can't get in behind. You know, it, it makes it, it, it's just a whole lot harder. So for the hamster, I was going to embroider on her dress and I decided I didn't want to mess it up. So I had this pom-pom trim and I think that just makes it, I think that just absolutely, it, absolutely just makes it even cuter. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with this. I think we're gonna leave it with pom-pom trim. So that's it, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I've spent a while sitting here figuring out what I want to do with these pieces and yeah, I'm done for the day. I'm gonna put all my stuff away. Uh, maybe we'll chat like this again. I don't know if I got a lot of chatting done. I'm gonna edit this and we'll see what I ended up with, but Guys, thank y'all for just joining me today while I sit here and just work on this stuff. I appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. 
share any kind of comments down below. I'd love to hear it. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe and uh, join me here uh, on my videos. I'm one to just, I just chat and tell it like it is and I want it to feel like we're just sitting here and just chit chatting, having our drink. I'm drinking La Croix and just, um, just talking, shooting the breeze. So guys, thank y'all for watching and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>